guys, System Bear, and this is Rustic Waters 2. Hope everyone is well, having a out of the amazing day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And, uh, in between episodes, I've done a little bit, but before we kind of go ahead here, I am going to get back into Cave Factory. Just going to let everyone know because people keep asking. Just want to get a couple of these videos out. Also, this is the second video of the day because yesterday I just wasn't feel up to getting a video out at all. So we're going to have two today. That is definitely a thing. And on top of that, tomorrow I'm actually going to be streaming. Uh, probably going to be around 11 EST. So around, you know, a little before noon on at EST. I'm actually Atlantic time, so it's like noon for me. But 11 EST, it's going to be my birthday. COVID's still going on, so I'm going to stream. We're going to play some of that Space Odyssey. So it's kind of the plan there. If you're interested in that, the link will be down in the description for that. I guess it'll be on the 9th, right? So tomorrow. So anyway, that is that. Everything is covered. Let's move forward and kind of get things done here. So in between episodes, have not done too much. I went ahead, I guess, and uh, kind of looked after our creosote, all that jazz. We got ourselves a good amount of steel now, so we're looking pretty good there. And uh, anything else I do? Oh, I guess I moved all my strainers here. <laughs> That's the thing. I just have water behind here, kind of doing the thing. They get pulled down from the hoppers from the top. And uh, yeah, just end up all in the chest here. Still not a super optimal way of setting it up. But at the same time, it's just closer to this room and easy to access. I really should have put it way over here in the wall. But I really want to move this in time too. I want it in the center of the room. It's offset. And it's driving me crazy. But the way the rotational force works. Where you have to do the, I guess the speeding up. Until we get our, what is that thing called there? Rotational speed controller. Uh, it's just the, just the way it has to be done. Anyway, the first thing I want to work on today is going to be over here. We have the Subnautica kind of section. Haven't read this at all either. Liberty was Caldan's prize recon frigate. State of the art and only three years old. Fact, uh, facts that fell meaningless as the ship broke in the sky over Earth. Small pieces of molten wreckage trailed down from space, hitting the ocean surface with a noise only rivaled by that explosion itself. Are you the only survivor? I guess we'll find out, right? But what we're going to do here is working on the, I guess, parts of the pack where we work on mobility, right? So I want to work on our diving suit first. Then I want to go ahead and work on the sea moth. Then we'll be able to go around and explore the sea pretty safely and uh, relatively pretty easily. Uh, one thing too, my nutrition now, you look at the dietary effects, had 25% speed, 25% attack speed, four max health, four armor, two armor toughness, and three regeneration. That's right, regeneration three, which is really awesome because uh, all our stuff, except for this one, of course, is over the 80%. It is a massive buff and it's gonna help us out in time. The way I kind of cheese that a little bit, just to speed it up, was this here. I kind of showed it in the, I guess I was going to say yesterday's video, but it will be today's video. <laughs> was this right click on this and it makes your hunger go down, right? So nice, really easy way of doing that. And uh, it is pretty cool. So the first thing we're doing here, did I grab cog? I did too. We need to go ahead and grab one of these, a millstone. So let's go ahead and grab that. We need to make some invar blend. So previously we set up invar yesterday in here. We need that as well. But we need to make the blend as well. To do that, we have to do it in the basin. It is done right here. We need that to make this invar imbued cloth. So we need the blend specifically to do that. To be able to make the blend though, is a little odd because you need the crushed nickel ore and then iron dust. It's the only way to do it. Or I guess you could crush down both, but why bother when you just do the iron dust, right? So we need to go ahead and get that done here. We're gonna use the millstone for that. We are gonna need one of these here. We're gonna need a, uh, one of these. Where are the rest of those, man? I swear I have more of these. Are they in here? Yeah, I put them in here. There you go, our gear boxes. We got a vertical right there. That's actually what I need. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Go ahead and uh, pop that probably right here. Then we go ahead and grab the millstone and uh, pop it right there. Then go ahead and uh, get up here a little bit because you have to kind of drop things in here or hopper them in. But I'm just going to drop them in right here. So we're going to go ahead and drop in 32 iron. And that's going to start getting crushed down there and turned into iron dust. So we'll come to that in a couple minutes here. Now, another thing we need to do is go ahead and make some tanks. These are the tanks from Crate. We need them to make, uh, what's this here? Yeah, this right here to make the actual O2 tank. To do that, we need some of this frame glass. So let's go ahead and grab that. That's gonna be done on the crafters here. I think it's already set up in the right configuration. I actually already looked at the recipe. It was this right here. Let's go ahead and uh, get that done really quickly and kind of get that taken care of. Then we'll work on our blend here as well. On top of that, I guess we're going to need some dye. So we'll need some of the orange and yellow. This jazz over here. So we have the red right there. Let's go ahead and grab three of them. Then the yellow as well. That looks good. 
Might as well kind of get this done all at the same time, just so we're kind of, you know, parallel crafting everything, getting everything done. Nothing's going to despawn on me either way, so we should be in pretty fine form. So that is cool. It's going to be cool to get this going too, because we'll actually be able to start uh, exploring the sea, right? So haven't really been able to do that yet. It is a little too dangerous. But uh, now that we have some buffs here, especially this uh, Regeneration 3, it's going to make our lives a lot easier. So anyway, that's a thing. Anyway, there's our tanks. We grab that. How's this looking over here? Looks like it's almost done there. Let's actually go ahead and make our oxygen tank because we can grab that one. Then we may go ahead and read a couple of these quests here as well. What else do we need here? The invar plates, right? So that should be in my bag. No, the hammer is actually in my inventory for once. Go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and make uh, four of those plates just like thus. That looks good. And then maybe we can go ahead and make that now. What was the other thing we needed? We needed some leather. I thought I had leather in the system. I do. I have it right here. Go ahead and do that. Pop that in there. And now we have the first component. So that is cool. So another one here would be the mask. We'll need the frame glass and a glass bottle. Probably go ahead and make a glass bottle. Actually really easy. Go ahead and grab glass just like so. That is cool. I already have enough of the frame glass. I made a good batch of that. Then the fins are going to take the dye. Then I guess the pants are just going to be all the invar. And then we'll have the first tier of this armor. There is a better kind of tier of it, but uh, we can't quite get there yet. I think it took gold, but uh, we'll look at that in a little bit here. But anyway, we take this and then this is a two to one. So two to one to nickel to iron. So I should be able to just pull that in there. And then we should get a good amount of this. But I think you only get two per recipe. So you use three items to get two of them. So we're only going to get like 48. But uh, we only need, I think, like 28 right this second anyway. Then we're actually okay. So anyway, we'll kind of get this done here. Then we need to go ahead and take that, I guess, and uh, get those bolts of linen. I've already gone ahead and crafted up, I think, like 42 of them. Where are they at? They're right here. Need to turn those into the bolts of linen cloth, which will be pretty awesome there. Then we go ahead and run them through the mixer as well. That'll kind of finish everything up for us, kind of all at once. Go ahead and just pull everything out real quick. Here you go. You and you. Did I get everything there? Did we get our in-bar dust? We got 28 there. And then we should be able to take that and that. Pop this in here. Pop that in there. That'll start mixing up. And once that's mixed up, we are pretty much good to go in the armor. So that is actually pretty cool. Scubier allows you to function underwater, underwater with higher efficiency. Basically, it gives you better buffs there. Uh, you see there, the set of scuba gear will give you total breathing time of 2.5 minutes, which is not too bad. And then the submarine will help more, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the pants, this set of scuba gear will give you a total breathing time of two minutes. What? <laughs> That's not right. It just said it was uh, two, two and a half minutes. It lied to us. I think it's two minutes for the oxygen tank. Then 30 seconds maybe by the, the default. Don't quote me on that though. We can do an upgraded version later on, but we need to be able to get these signalium uh, blend here. I have nowhere near enough gold dust to get that done though. So we have to wait on that a little bit. So anyway, that is good. We have our oxygen tank unlocked. We should be able to go ahead and uh, make the rest of this pretty easy now. Can we actually go ahead and make the mask? We can go ahead and make the mask. So that's good. Should be able to make the wetsuit leggings. And then we should be able to make the flippers. And the flippers give you a 16.67 uh, swim speed, which is awesome. And then we should be able to start pulling this stuff off. We're going to lose our night vision, which is unfortunate. Go ahead and pop that there. Where's the uh, other components here? I'm looking at them. I know I'm looking at them right now, right on my face. There's one, there's the other one. So this is what we kind of look like now. We kind of look pretty cool, but pretty dorky at the same time here. Kind of like it, it's not too bad. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump in the water and kind of try this out. So we try this out here. We should move at a pretty good pace because we have that speed boost. Plus we have the swim speed boost from the pins as well. And uh, I guess I didn't let our oxygen fully fill up either. I think that has to slowly fill up there. Can you kind of look at that? Yeah, it tells you how much oxygen is in here, I guess, uh, seconds as well. So we'll be able to kind of see our total when this is uh, kind of totally full here. here. You go, it's at uh, 105 seconds, I guess. So I guess between that and your regular time, that'll give you your two minutes or two and a half minutes, whatever it is. Seems like it goes down pretty fast. So either way, it's good. It's better than what we had. <laughs> way better. And we move much faster too, so. That is cool. That is a big upgrade. I'm going to put this on for right now, though. So let's do that. So we're going to go ahead and actually work on the seam off now. So I'm going to go ahead and actually make us a whole lot of plates here, I guess, in a second. Where's that at? I want to go ahead and grab this here. Go ahead and do that. So we need a mass amount of these wires. I think it's like 56, but I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole stack of them real quick, just like so. 
that is good and uh, we have that now we also need to go ahead and make some steel scaffold from immersive right and the way they're going to be done if i actually hunt down our steel which is right here there you go we need i think eight of these rods this will be enough right there just like that that should handle that part and we just do this here actually it was up here wasn't it it's probably just not uh yeah there you go has to be up there so that's good then once we have that done we need to go ahead and make this gray seat here as well so we need to get ourselves a black dye i uh, don't see squid around like normal squid i see those like nitro squid so what we can do though is uh grab a charcoal <laughs> totally messed up and ran away from our charcoal i guess we have a uh, charcoal in here though go ahead and grab one of them that's good and we'll run this through the milling stone there now it'll actually give us a charcoal uh, not, not a charcoal but a black dye so let's go ahead and pop that in there that should handle that that should only take a second there you go we have that and with that uh, i guess we just need a bone meal then i guess we are pretty much done now right so let's just grab a bone right here do that do that right there that looks good and then we'll have a gray dye right so we do that then we just need a piece of wool and you combine that with the slab and then i think we have our that that is not wool uh <laughs> we have our seat which is the next part of that right so we do that do that there that looks good combine that with that there we go we got our seat so that is component that is component and that is component so i think that's pretty much everything we need for the frame so we have the frame components now so that's cool uh we also need to make that reinforced wooden that actually looked really easy so let's actually get that one out of the way i think that is just this and this so we'll get that go ahead and do the crafting for the frame i guess first before anything we'll have to set this up a little different though so let's go ahead and actually grab a wrench here we need that one gone that one gone that one's gonna have to be part of it now uh that'll be out that'll be out this will be part of it so is that all going to a central area it looks like it to me that should actually work right there so go there 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 cross 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 down and meet up there so the recipe was this right here go ahead and bring that across that is all on the outside then it was three frame glass i think like this then you just grab the gray seat pop right there and that should be the recipe if i did it right let's just make sure here looks like it it says let's uh hope it holds so <laughs> that's the thing and uh, hopefully this works out here and if that works we need to go ahead and start working on these batteries here and this is part of the reason i need all these copper wires because the quest actually wants you to make four of these even though you're only going to use two for the sea moth itself i think it wants you to make four because later on you'll be using it for a plane right so for right now we just need sea moth so let's go ahead and uh, grab that puppy there you go and there we got our reinforced wood one as well so that is kind of two quests taken care of there go ahead and just drop this off for a sec and probably you don't need you and uh, kind of look at the next part so these electric engines here let's go ahead and check them out real quick i'm gonna need red cell for sure so let's actually just grab you there you go check out these things oh uh, we need some lead too i haven't smelted down any lead yet and uh, we need uh eat lead pretty quick here go ahead and grab eight there you go that is good go ahead and uh, start getting that smelted down and while we're doing that we can go ahead and actually grab ourselves some of this red cell wire uh, i think i need each one of these is going to take two of these right so let's start with that there let's not go past that <laughs> hope that was the right amount here and uh what else do we need for this oh we also need a bunch of stone i guess cobblestone actually i don't even have cobblestone man i'm gonna have to do this manually but anyway we'll go ahead and uh hammer down i guess some stone as quickly as we can there we go i think all we really need now are these copper coil blocks right each one of these takes eight so we need uh what 32 right so that should be 8 16 24 32 yeah that should be good there go ahead and actually grab the copper coil blocks so go ahead and grab four of them i think we need two more of those later on but i'll kind of keep it separate and i think that's everything so we should be able to make these now i can only make like one at a time because uh flint and steels those being flint and steels right Oh, these don't oh they do stack okay go ahead and do that we go get our fourth and there we go we actually have that component we also get a hub key here next thing we need to do i guess is uh actually make this thing we just need a little more crafters kind of set up and we'll actually have the sea moth we just won't have battery for it yet i don't think i don't know if you actually get one for free when you kind of make it i think in the last version you did but i don't know if you do in this one here so let's actually look at the recipe here so i guess it's five across Oh, this one's kind of dorky we actually this is one where we're actually gonna have to break this for a second i guess we're gonna have to do that there right then bring it across here and is that right let's see here 
So it'd be five, three, and three. So I might be able to do it like that. Yes, this will actually work right here. Go ahead and do that. This is the only recipe where I see where it's not going to fit in the four by four, actually. It's a little different. So that's good there. Do that. That should be good there. Does that all go to a central spot? Just stare at it for a second here. Looks like it's pretty good to me. I think this could all go on the outside, right? So it's just uh, something like this here. And then that there. Awesome. I guess I don't need that one either. That should be good. I didn't mess up anything, right? So let's make sure. Where's the actual sea moth? Why do I not have the sea moth pinned of all things? Sea moth is right here. There you go. Do that. That looks good. Go ahead and grab a frame and two of these. And uh, we should be pretty much done this component, right? That and that. And that should start being made, hopefully. Everything's coming together. And it looks like it's going to work. And uh, we're going to actually have our sea moth here. Hopefully we get a battery of this too. I know they only come like a, a quarter charge when you make them though. So we'll have to worry about that uh, when we get this kind of done here as well. So anyway, that is cool. And there you go. We have a sea moth. Awesome. So that is cool. So no power cell. So it does not have power cell. Curious if we could put it in the water though. Because if so, that's cool. Used to be able to. Go ahead and go down here. And right click it. There you go. We're actually inside this thing. I'm not sure how you access the battery though. I guess you just open up your inventory here. There it is. There's the slot right there. And that's good. So let's leave that right there right now. We are going to have to go ahead and make a power cell. Go ahead and hunt that down, I guess. The next thing we need to do, actually a loot reward. We've got an enchantment factory. That's awesome. A netherite, a really a netherite quarterstaff? How much damage is that? 11 attack damage, two-handed sweep. How slow is that, though? Probably real slow, right? Not too bad with our attack speed buff. Huh. What is the special on that? Just two-handed and sweep. Materials fireproof. Hmm. Have to think about that. That might be an okay weapon to use for a while. Anyway, that's cool there. Next thing we'd want to do is I guess we need to make two more sets of those redstone wires. Let's go redstone. I guess we could just do this right here. That is good. Then hopefully I have some wires in here as well. So let's go ahead and pop you out. Do that, 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 and that. Go ahead and just need two more, I guess, is all we need there. And then what do we need to actually make the power cell itself? I guess we just need some nickel plates. So we should actually have nickel here uh, in that form, right? So there's nickel right there. That is good. Go ahead and actually hammer that down really quickly. That is good as well. And then we should be able to go ahead and make one of these power cells, hopefully. If I actually look at the right table. There you go. We actually have power cell. Problem is, right now we can't charge this. And uh, that's what I want to work towards. It is going to use the power, I think, at a pretty good pace, though. But we should be able to put this in here now and actually move around. There you go. You can actually kind of sail around. So this thing's actually really cool. It's awesome, actually. I love this thing. There's actually a hockey you can set, too. So you go options, you go to controls, go to category, and then it's diving, right? So you go diving here. I think it's the descend one you want to set. Uh, not that button. I don't know what that was. But anyway, let's set to like a V or something. I think nothing's on V while we're in here, right? So if we go V, you go straight up and down with that, right? So you go up and you hit V to go straight down. Or you just fly around like you're using Elytra as well. So... Actually, really awesome, really cool. And uh, this will be how we get around the ocean a lot safer. So that is cool. Now, before we actually go and use it, like I said, I would like to go ahead and start working on a battery. And to do that, we're going to have to get this little charging station. And then we're, then we're going to have to get some way to actually charge it to make power as well, right? So let's go ahead and start working on that. Wants us to make a coil and then the charging station. Oh, I thought I had to make two more coils. I made too many wires. It's not like, well, not end up using it, but anyway, I guess that's the thing itself. Go ahead and grab two coils. So I ended up with a uh, little extra wires here, but I guess we'll live. There you go. Then this here, we actually just need a coil block. So let's grab you. Then I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and smelt down some clay as well. So let's actually grab a few clay here. That should be good. And then we just need terracotta for an LV, uh, what is this called? LV wire connector, right? So Guess we just need four of those done. Then we are pretty much finished that part, right? We may have to look at the alternator, I think, to go ahead and actually get us some power going. But once we have that going, we are looking pretty good here. Uh, that's what I'm looking at for power too. It looks like the easiest one and where they kind of want you to go, right? So down here, actually, they have the alternator. So we'd have to do this here and kind of work down to it, I guess. But it isn't that hard a recipe. It's just those redstone wires. 
then we need to make these here. I guess those extra wires will get used there. <laughs> so that's cool. Then some more extra wires there. Then this capacitor. So that isn't too bad at all. Maybe I'll go ahead and craft everything up and then we'll go ahead and get that made and uh, kind of push forward. I may go ahead and jump this quest right now. I don't know if I want to jump straight to the rotational speed controller because we're going to have to do another set. Of oh, they changed the recipe for that too. That's actually easier. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make the rotational speed controller as well then because that is definitely going to be really easy to do. But anyway, let's finish off this charging station really quick. Then we'll kind of jump past that, right? I guess we just need some copper here. Let's go ahead and grab three. That is good. And I have to say I'm loving this inventory system right now. It's uh, not the greatest, right? Not being able to craft in it, but still nice being able to just kind of have it as a really big chest. So this will be our charger. This will be how we charge the battery. We just need power. So let me do a little bit of crafting here, and then we'll come back and uh, hopefully get this thing charged to be able to go around the ocean a little bit. So all we need to do now is actually go ahead and make this precise mechanism. So we'll do that. Then we'll go ahead and grab this here. And this will be the rotational speed controller. Of course, we don't have the unlock quest for this right now. Apparently have to do the furnace engine first. I don't know why, but anyway, we'll come back to that later on. So yeah, we don't have the completion for that. But since it was so easy to make, I want to go ahead and get it out of the way. Because we've got to change the setup here a little bit. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Pull you off. Uh, that off, that off, that off. <laughs> that off. That looks good. And think about how we're going to move the force now, actually. Because it's going to change, right? I guess we'll have a big gear here. Still right here right so we'll have that there and instead of having that torch there because that won't be able to live there anymore go ahead and get that out of the way real quick pop it down here uh we'll have uh this puppy right so the rotational speed controller sit right there and that'll multi-block and we can actually speed this up now so it goes super fast out of these sides here and move the force that way so that'll be kind of the way we do it anyway let's kind of figure out how we're going to wire this up though i guess i'll leave the crafters just the way they were i guess for now because uh, that doesn't matter. We'll just use that force up there. That'll be normal speed force. We'll be able to speed up this stuff down here massively now. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. I did have uh, one more gearbox too. So I made two more. I should be able to just uh, pipe this around pretty easy with a few gearboxes, right? So let's go ahead and kind of just get it working and then clean it up later on, right? So I could basically just do that, that, and that. That should start working that now. If I wanted to speed this up now, I could basically just go like this, right? Oops. Not there. <laughs> there you go. Go here. Go like 256. <laughs> Look how fast that goes right now. This thing's like a blunder. So yeah, it's going super fast. I'll have to change how the side's kind of set up here. Um, I'll end up pulling more speed over here. But you see here, I'm almost overstressing our system now. So I need to kind of worry about how fast we make it. Most of the time, it's kind of pointless to make it quite that fast anyway. So I'll probably just lower it to like 64 right now, make it about that speed and leave it at that after this point. So, but anyway, we have that now. That was actually important to get. So I'm glad I got that. What we want to go ahead and do though is make the, what were we making here? We're making the alternator, right? So we'll come back to this here. We'll be able to uh, come back and do this properly later on, you know what I mean? But for right now, we need to kind of get this in place, right? Pop that up there, I guess. And uh, sort this out. So that, that. Do this here. Cross, cross, cross. I guess we could pretty much do exactly how we had it previously, right? So that's good there. That's all going down. And uh, that looks good there, actually. Is that actually everything? It looks like it. <laughs> Let's actually get that pin real quick. So the redstone wires go in the corner, right? So we have four of those. Oh, actually, I made eight by mistake. But anyway, let's go ahead do that there. Then we need all our silver plates. So let's do that right here. So that's good. And then we'll be able to, I guess, actually, we can use a rotational speed controller mostly for um, generating, I guess, min-maxing the power right now. Because it's going to use a lot of energy, actually, now that I think of that. Anyway, or sorry, rotational force right now. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the alternator in here. So the spool goes in the top left and bottom right corner. So let's go ahead, get that in place. So one here, one here. Then we need two of the capacitors. Let's go ahead and get them in place. And that should be the recipe. And that should finish that. And this will be our first RF. This will be our first RF. And once we get a furnace engine, we'll be able to kind of set up several of these to uh, produce a good amount of power. But I just want to kind of get this up and going right now. I really just want to have a working Seamoth, right? So just want to get at least one battery charge. And uh, yeah, just like have a, you know, a good start, right? But anyway, get this going. And uh, we should have a alternator now, right? 
There you go. So we actually have that puppy. And with this, we should be able to plug into somewhere here. So I actually should, actually should be able to do it right there, right? So that's producing power now. I'm not sure it's going to be able to pump in power to the side of this. I guess we'll find out. This is a very temporary setup. It is getting power though, so that's good. And if we put on our goggles, actually, if I actually have them. Do I have my goggles? I do not have my goggles. I just failed at life. If I had my goggles, I could see how much power this is producing too. We'll kind of do that in a second here. We need our battery anyway, so let's go ahead and get that. I did leave that in the sea moth. Is the uh, goggles in here? Is that where I left them? Goggles are right there. Awesome. Grab that. Then we'll have to head down here anyway. Jump inside. Grab our power cell. Awesome. Pretty sure you can break this thing too and kind of pick it up again. So that is kind of a really good option as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this charged up as much as we can. It's probably going to take a while to fill this thing because it holds 2 million RF though, right? So that will very slowly get charged, right? So right now, how much did it get there? Uh, very little. So anyway, we'll have to go ahead... Oh, maybe that drains power as it's just sitting in the Seamoth? Because that looks like, for the very little amount that we actually kind of did any driving in it, it seems like it drained a lot of power. Like, we didn't really go very far at all. And uh, it was already down to 400 and... Um, 420,000 was what I was down to. But anyway, I'm going to leave this going. I guess leave this charging here. I am curious what we're producing, though. So let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess it's not there at all right here right just go ahead and do that sweet see what we're actually producing right now we are producing a whole 15 fe a tick i might be able to put that up a tiny bit let's see here i don't want to overstress our system is the other thing right at some point this is going to be overstress we're up to 19 fe a tick i think these can produce like 90 fe a tick or something actually i'm amazed it's not overstressed yet you see here it uses a massive amount of stress. So this machine alone is using 3,232. I think it goes up to 8,000. Anyway, we'll kind of push it a little bit more. See if we can get to 120. There we go. It maxes out at 256 too. So that's the thing. There we go. We're at the 28. We're just flying along here. Oh my goodness. I'm actually surprised it's still going. You know what? Let's just push it. We're at 200, Ben. Oh, we're overstressed now. <laughs> Get down to 180. You gonna work? There you go. It's working at 160. It's working at 160. I'll just leave it at 170 right now. That's uh, 39 RF a tick, and very slowly it's going to fill that right. So it's gonna take a little bit of while, but uh, worth it either way. I'll give that like probably like 20 minutes or so, and uh, see how far it goes. I guess, but it will do the thing, right? Actually, is that charging right now? Are you charging? I feel like you're not charging right now. Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't feel like that's charging right now. What's going on now? I feel like this is, this is derping. Let's break that real quick. Try that again and uh, see if we can actually get this place. That did not seem like it was working anymore. It wasn't doing the little kind of particle th uh, effect thingy, right? Right there. There we go. It's working now for sure. So anyway, I'm not sure why it stopped because I don't think this thing has an on off switch. Yeah, it doesn't man. Maybe because I was just messing with it so much. Maybe the overstress messed it up. Either way, that's good. I'm going to let that charge. There you go. I went ahead and charged up the battery a little bit. So I just want to head over to this little structure that we keep seeing outside our window and kind of see what's going on. Our battery is only at 60% uh, and then I made a second one. This one was at 25. You can see we've already burned through a little bit of power. I was doing a little bit of testing see how much it burns they actually burn power pretty quick so we're gonna end up uh, needing a pretty good way of kind of charging these up kind of in time but uh, i guess it isn't too bad anyway it's kind of going here we'll check out this little biodome thing i think that's what this is too it is a biodome i noticed too there's actually uh cocoa beans in here after me wanting these early on and not being able to get them they are on these trees here even though no matter what i do i can't actually grow, grow them so i guess that's the thing but anyway I think I saw things about these in the book here somewhere. Was it the farming one? No, it wasn't there. I saw something about the biodomes. Where is it at? <laughs> Maybe it's the friend one? I think it's here, right? On the watery planet, livestock is scarce, but are drawn to nutritional patches of mycelium. You can also find biocylinders, that's what they're called, located around the ocean that contain seeds for plants that have distinct ability to trap passive animals. 
So over here, we actually see some of those. This is a sheep seed here. And uh, is that one fully grown? It's at 85%. So I can actually break that, pick that up, and take that home. Then we'll have to get mycelium somehow. I'm not sure how we're going to get that. Mycelium. And should be able to plant that at home. Grass block. How are we doing a grass block? Oh, we can actually do that super easy now. So we'll be able to actually get a sheep home with that. And this one here, it's not fully grown. Uh, if it was fully grown, you just dig underneath them. But anyway, I should just do that there. This one's at 85. There you go. You twerk around these things. These things will get fully grown. And uh, if it was fully grown, like this one right here. Oh, he's not fully grown. Let's go ahead and break him. You just hit them when they're fully grown and they kind of spawn. So that's kind of how that works there. So that is cool. I could go ahead and probably break some grass here and get some seeds that we don't have as well. That's cool. Then we've got a chest here. we got a diamond, which is awesome. Prismarine arrow. Potion of mana regeneration. We don't even have mana. These things here, do not use them. That's going to make your game harder right away. We've got a curse of binding here. We've got some emeralds. We'll grab that. Probably grab the brown dye as well, actually. But yeah, we're actually at the point where we can start uh, exploring a little bit. which is actually pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I did get some cocoa just to rub it in my face as well. That's pretty much all I have there. Also noticed uh, over there, that says Liberty on it. So that must be one of the um, things for the pack, like the crash vessels. So we might go over there and check that real quick as well. We also got the eel out there. I don't know about that. Oh, I made a shield too, actually. So I made this shield here. It's an Invar Tower Shield. And I made a Invar uh, Saber. So this one here does uh, chest damage bonus. But I'm not really sure what it beads, but it does uh, good damage. 10.22 attack damage. And uh, it took a weird item though. You have to make these candles and it takes two treated sticks and one of those bolts of linen cloth to make those. But uh, not too bad either way. Is he gone? He's gone. Let's ignore him. Anyway, go ahead and head over to the other area. I guess I could check that ship, but I'm not too worried about that right now. I want to go ahead and check out this Liberty thing and see what's going on. Because uh, that may have some cool stuff over here. Just want to be all prepared for any situation. You kind of see how this goes here. What is going on here? Oh, there's definitely something there. And there's some great pipes over there. there. Yeah, there's definitely stuff over there. Actually, this over here, this thing. Let's go ahead and check that out. I think this might be a reward chest, right? Yeah, you actually get a loot chest out of that. That's actually cool. Go. What do we get here? Emerald to Obsidian Furnace. Great Emmy glass cables and a tomahawk, which is a weapon we can throw here. Let's go ahead and check out this stuff down here, though, that we saw. So we got slime explosives. <laughs> we got a captain's log. Oh, we got another one of the log things. That's cool. Recon frigate machinery. Cool. What else we got going on here? Machine frame, energetic effuser, recon frigate, recon frigate, and good stuff here. So we got some good loot. That's cool. Captain's log, oh sorry, Captain's Recorder Salvage, right click to repair the recorder. So you just gotta do that. And there we go, we got a new recorder, and that's number six. I wonder if that's random or how that works there. I guess we'll figure that out in time. Anyway, let's go ahead and drop some of the stuff off here. There you go. And uh, see what's in over here, I guess. What is over here? Looks like there was something here too. Oh, these are just trash voids. There's a whole bunch of trash voids, which is just means we can pump stuff in there and it doesn't exist anymore. This really doesn't do much for us, so not the thing. Might as well go ahead and grab this piping though. This is the uh, piping from Crate that might be actually useful at some point. If not for using, definitely for probably crafting at some point. So let's we'll go ahead and grab you. That's good. And is there anything actually down here? Just a whole bunch of clay? Because <laughs> this so that's not that big a deal. Uh, let's actually switch to our shovel here real quick. Just like so. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything there. So yeah, pretty cool little structure. We did get uh, another one of those flight recorders, which we'll have to check out at some point. Oh, there's another loot chest here. We definitely need to check that out. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to our pick here. You know, go ahead and grab that puppy. And how's my inventory? Probably good enough to actually open it. Our oxygen is getting down though. We'll have to get back into the vessel here in a second. Prudentium shovel, silver tomahawk, and a lead long sword. So mostly weapons, but uh, that is good either way. And uh, yeah, we have the ability to adventure now, which is actually pretty cool. I'm now quite happy about that. You also notice when you're inside this thing, your oxygen goes back up. That is the biggest thing to kind of notice about this, and that uh, is pretty cool. 
Also see a 2 Meteor over there. That's what that is over there. So that's actually straight up a 2 Meteor. Not going to go there right now. I really want to go home and kind of listen to that recorder real quick and uh, kind of see what that's all about because that's pretty awesome. Also, I've noticed I'm killing mobs every once in a while. And every once in a while, I get these heart crystals. And with that, I think we can actually get extra hearts as well. So that is cool as well. Anyway, let's go up here for a second. That's cool. I think I have some of those crystals right there. That's good. If I go ahead and craft those together, do I get a heart just like low? So, I mean, there you go. Increase maximum health. So I just go ahead and grab that. Use that. And now we have an extra full heart, actually. That's actually awesome and uh, really cool. So let's go ahead and drop that off there. We'll deal with these seeds at a later time. That's fine. I want to listen to that uh, recorder. Where did I put that? Let's go ahead and grab that. Options. Let's go to uh, music and sound, right? Check that. Turn up the master here again. Listen to this thing. 9th of May. We're three weeks out from Earth, and I gotta admit I'm feeling a bit of pressure now. That's nothing new, I guess. Father expects a lot more from me since my brother died. All the focus became about preparing me to inherit leadership of Caladan. I never even got a chance to properly mourn my brother. It's become all about filling my brother's shoes. Well, that's pretty cool. Didn't tell us much more about the story there, but it sounds like she was supposed to take over Caladan. So that is neat. So yeah, that's really rad all around. So we now have a vessel to go around the ocean, kind of search for things, find stuff, get these components. Uh, where were they here? These ones here. I think these ones are going to be kind of like in-game stuff. So they're used in the rockets, stuff like that. We are a long ways off this stuff, but we need it either way. And then, yeah, we have these other crafting recipes here as well. Maybe those are the same ones, just the, in the, uh, I guess, a bigger crafting table, I guess. But either way, really cool, really awesome, and pretty neat to be starting to get that stuff already. We'll need to find a lot of those if we're going to get uh, all the captain's log for sure. Because there's like 16 of these things or something, I think. Down here? Yeah, right there. Look at that. We got 20 bucks for that, too. We are rich. So anyway, that is really cool and really awesome. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually... And this one here. So, as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Really liked it. Hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. When you guys all have a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.